Hello, I'm Dr. Steve Weiner, a facial plastic surgeon from Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. And what I have here is a Clarius L20 HD. This is the newest version of the Clarius. And what I'm going to show you is my ultrasound assisted temporal injection. And I put on a tegaderm. So you take a tegaderm and you put it on the surface of the foot plate and that keeps it sterile. Now I'm going to use sterile ultrasound gel and take a look at her temporal arteries. So now we're going to go into looking at the temporal anatomy and looking for the vasculature. So first we're going to look in B mode at the temporal anatomy. And what we can see here is the temporalis, the temporal bone, the intermediate temporal fat pad, the two layers of the deep temporal fascia and the superficial temporal fascia or the SMAS. And our idea with this injection is to inject below the SMAS, above the superficial layer of the deep temporal fascia. So let's change over to the color Doppler mode and let's look for the vasculature. Okay, I always do a color box steering for that. So back here is our superficial temporal artery right there. So there's our superficial temporal artery. It's pretty posterior to where we want to be. So there it is right there. So we're going to be injected inferior to that and deep to that. Let's look and see if there's any other vasculature that we can see here. I'm going to look for the deep temporal artery. Again, and with our injections, we're injecting superficially, so the deep temporal artery doesn't come into play. So now we've found the deep temporal artery. It's not quite on the periosteum, but again, our injections are going to be much more superficial to this, but when you do those deep injections, finding that deep temporal artery is a good thing because those deep temporal injections can affect the deep temporal artery. So there we have it right there. We'll screenshot that. Let's uh, start the injection, and then I'm going to use the ultrasound to confirm placement in that interfascial plane. So we're doing a pilot hole. This is going to be a 23-gauge cannula, 50 millimeters, a soft fill cannula. And so she's going to insert it through the dermis and then pierce the SMAS. So we get into that interfat. Do you see that pop? That pop confirms that we're below the SMAS. And now that interfascial plane should be a glide plane. And I, I can tell you, even without ultrasound, that we're most likely there, but we're going to confirm it with the ultrasound. So let's go and turn it on to B mode and show that we are in that interfascial plane. So she's bumping up against the deep temporal fascia. Um, and she's going to do a small little bolus of saline to confirm the placement. You're actually in, you're actually in the deep. There we go. Now we're in the interfascial plane, and she's going to inject a little bit of saline to expand that plane. And see, it's perfect. In interfascial plane, perfect injection. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the saline off of the cannula, and we're going to replace it with Restylane diluted, and she's going to inject it into that interfascial plane. Now we'll confirm the placement. And you see the filler is within the interfascial plane. And then we can, you see here's the deep and here's the superficial and the filler is in between the two fascial planes. And then we'll confirm that the artery is intact right there. So that's a nice confirmation of the ultrasound placing it into the interfascial plane using Clarius L20 HD.